Sagittarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is an oracle card spread. It's an energy reading. So it's not a horoscope. This is for Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising. Wherever Sagittarius influences your natal chart, you can apply these themes for the next week or so. And uh, from whenever you see the video. Um, and... Uh, <clears throat> Oh my God, I just lost my train of thought. I, I apologize. Um, even if it's a Sagittarius that's impacting you from the outside, like that's for that, that's for this, this will suit that too. Um, there's always an extended reading. Please check the description box right below this video. Boop, on that little arrow, the drop box will come down. You'll see that there is an extended reading. Um, please do go check it out because what it does is it um, personalizes and brings out specifics through a whole, like a full tarot card spread. And it also includes a romance reading and prediction as well. So please do join me for that after this video or right now, if you want to, it's up to you. Um, um, and uh, I do not put dates on the videos anymore, but uh, you know, that doesn't really matter. What matters is I do upload a new Sagittarius specific video every single week. So if you want the, you want the videos fresh off the press, subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe, click like on this video, share it to other social media pro profiles. That really helps the channel grow. And then you can ring that bell and know when I upload all the new content as soon as it uploads. So let's get into your reading, Sag. Oh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Oh, something's falling out. Sagittarius. Mm, something fell out the back, but I don't think that that's really what you wanted. I think I think that you were ready for something to come out the front. You were proud of something, or you were ready for something to be sort of announced, or you were waiting for it to be announced, and maybe it was a little bit anticlimactic right now because of everything that's going on, but there does seem to be a sense of anticlimactic. Not that you're not climaxing, um, but there's like a like an anti like an anticlimactic. You thought it would be better. You thought it would be bigger. You thought you would be recognized for the work that you were doing, but you weren't recognized. Or if you were recognized, maybe you uh, only you know you got um, um, they you got a lower raise than they thought you were going to get, um, and you didn't get like a raise in title, right? You didn't get a promotion. You may have got a little raise, but it wasn't as big as you thought you would. Um, there is some sort of disappointment here uh, based on expectations versus what ended up happening. And um, your crowning energy is be peace, but it's coming out a little bit wonky. Um, be peace is Libra energy. It's a sense of being balanced or what is fair. It's also a sense of love. I think that in some ways you don't think that what you've experienced right now is fair. Um, it may have hurt, hit you in the heart space. It may, because this is Libra energy, it's coming out all wonky. It came out on its side, almost about to tip over. So it's almost like feeling that the scales were tipped against you and you maybe didn't even really realize it and a sense of being really disappointed. It's not like you totally and completely lost or that you weren't acknowledged at all. This is the energy that's crowning your reading, a sense of unfairness, a sense of, a sense of unbalance, but that's that's based on perception. It's based on um, what you expected versus what happened. And for some reason you expected a lot more and God help it if it was my reading from last week because things seem to be going really well for you. And I do think that there is a sense of liberation, but simultaneously, yeah, there's more Libra energy too. Now you have to economize. Now you have to kind of like um, double Libra energy. This is a... Uh, um, trying to make the best out of a situation, take what you have and use it. Maybe even, um, you know, um, using other people, combining your efforts with other people or using some sort of, uh, yeah, I know we can't go out in the public right now, but use, using your connection to other people to help you feel stronger or feel more empowered or get your sense of beauty and self back because you were sort of downgraded or feel like you were downgraded. Um, Cause I know this, this wants to flip upright. It really does. So there is happiness and abundance. There is um, fairness coming into your life, but you don't feel that way. You you don't because probably because you still have to make cup, cutbacks because maybe the money didn't come in yet or the raise isn't going to start for a couple of weeks. That sense of um, still having to um, um, be, yeah, like, you know, only stand on one leg to... 
um, conserve energy <laughs> like the flamingo. Lots of Libra energy all over your reading. So I'm wondering, um, I'm, it's, it's almost like the stress that you thought was going to be over isn't completely over, but central to your energy is time to collaborate. So there is a sense of working with somebody or working together, and that could be what's what's wrong. You may be working with somebody who you don't like. You know, you may, it, it's like there's a caveat in the blessing, like that's what it is, and it's irritating the crap out of you. So it's like, yeah, maybe you got that raise, but guess what? You have to work with your least favorite coworker on the project. And then your work is gonna be gauged based on um, what project you come up with or the work that you do with this person that you can't stand and that they don't inspire the best in you. So it's like, yes, you're being given the opportunity, but there's like a flip side to the opportunity. It's kind of like that. Um, who uh be fearless and bold knowing having a strong sense of self and being recognized so yes you are recognized and you do have a lot of confidence you're very certain this is fire energy aries energy very complimentary to you you're very confident in what you can do in uh what you contribute and you're confident in your ability to get things done and i honestly feel that this may be why you don't want other people to get in your way sagittarius you're usually really great at working with people if you can be the one that leads it if you can be the one that organizes the event and gets everybody together but taking orders from somebody else or having to share the spotlight is not necessarily your style time to heal yeah something is really twisting up your guts and there's a fire that's about to explode i feel like this is this is that kundalini energy it's about to burst it's about to pounce a little bit of a poison twisting your gut inside this is more emotional than physical though this could be physical health. Um, I don't know if you're having any kind of stomach trouble or digestive problems, um, but this could speak to basically your nervousness or your sense of having been betrayed to the point where you're making yourself sick, feeling like you've been betrayed, like an opportunity has been taken away from you and it's really twisting you up inside and that may be manifesting itself physically and it also is like making you about to pounce, waiting for your opportunity as well like having your sense of confidence and trying to contain it so that you're waiting for your opportunity to basically spring forward and spring out and 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 like like an ambush predator waiting for your time to feast type of thing watch your words ah okay i see um playing it really cool playing it really diplomatic that could be why your energy is crowned with libra almost playing both sides right now trying to basically maybe hide your true intentions um, knowing that as soon as you get close, you're going to kick that person to the curb and you're not going to need them anymore. Um, using your words very, very carefully and cleverly in order to, um, in order to set yourself up for future success interesting watch your words people are listening people are watching and you know it see i think there's intent behind this four plus five is the energy of nine something wants to come out you you definitely want to spew you want to scream you want to shout but you're forcing yourself not to like i said you're forcing it down and it could be why you're getting gut cramps because it's physically it's like what you won't let come out verbally or socially you're forcing it down you're forcing it down so it may be coming out physically but this is a sense of of having to force or eat your own words, swallow your own words, not being able to say, knowing that you can't speak freely. That's what it is. And this is a sense of being stuck, of being stuck in a collaboration that you don't like. And I'm getting work here, I'm getting work, I'm not getting home, I'm not getting your personal life, but I'm, or, or somebody misinterpreting what you say constantly or trying to use your words against you. And that's why you de de basically stopped speaking so liberally because you know somebody's going to come and use your words against you and you're just, you're just like you're like okay now I have to like suppress who I am and you don't like this feeling you're feeling stuck you're feeling held back and you're feeling a disconnect and then let it shine the energy of scorpionic energy putting the spotlight you ever seen that movie spotlight spotlighting some bullshit spotlighting 
um, <clears throat> showing that things are not working or spotlighting their shortcomings so that they know that they're not in control or basically just, just showing it for what it is, showing the circumstance for what it really is. So you can kind of, I guess, I don't know. Let me see the other cards. There's a couple more that have to come out. An energy of four plus six equals 10. So this is something coming to fruition and coming to an end. It's almost like your way in the dark is coming to an end. And so this won't last long. This feeling won't last long. You will be able to finally shine and say what you need to say soon. You won't have to keep eating your words. It won't last for long. Um, I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, maybe somebody trying to accuse you of something. Interesting. Um, surrender now. This is like a moth to a flame flying right into it. Nine plus three. Energy of 14. One plus four is three. So this is finding balance and also fate and destiny. It's, it's like you're, 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 you're stuck having to listen to somebody else's bullshit. And it's almost like they're sucking you in to try to like, like draw you in. Like, look at a moth to a flame. They're like, it's almost like you feel like you've been set up right? They're trying to set you up, Sagittarius. That's what you feel because it's almost like they're shining this light, knowing that you're going to trust it and head right into it. It's like they know exactly how to bait you, right? And that's why you're trying to like hold your hand and make sure that you, because lots of times you can easily speak out loud. You can say exactly what's on your mind, but you don't want to show too much of your hand because they're definitely almost like that um, angler fish lighting that light in the dark to lure unsuspecting creatures toward it and just eat it up and drown it and like not drown it but like eat it up um and here you are moth to a flame this is flying right into it surrendering giving up and flying right into it this is almost like in some ways they did trap you in some ways you were led right into exactly where you didn't want to be and Sagittarius, it could be in a partnership. Like you could be like, how did I get into this relationship? I don't understand. Like, or why did I take that job? It's like, why did I raise my hand? I don't understand. Like, it's almost like they baited you just like they had to do to hook you and you flew right into it. And now you know you're like, fuck, I'm stuck. Uh, watch and wait, but it's upside down. An energy of five plus three is eight. So maybe something hurrying up, something rushing, something, you don't have to wait for very long. This is in your uh, grounding energy, watch and wait. This is Piscean energy, feeling very, very impatient. That's what this is. Uh, yeah, feeling very, very impatient, um, not wanting to hang around or stick around or nurture things very well. Two more, because this is um, Seahorse. He's the nurturer in the seahorse family, right? But this is almost like maybe your father let you down or not having that fatherly support or protection, not feeling protected, but essentially this is impatience. I'm not wanting to wait and being done with waiting and be at home. Maybe you're done being at home. You're kind of sick of it. The energy of six plus eight adds up to 14, which adds up to five changing. A dynamic in your house changing because you're so frustrated and you don't want to be at home anymore. A sense of really being getting added agitated um but this is upright be at home um hold on hold on overcome any obstacle rhino spirit also the energy of five bulldozing through your circumstance with confidence and with ease a sense of loving those around you and also this is Taurus energy, right? So it's focused on finance. So essentially deciding to maybe work from home or deciding to, um, f for the people that, for the sake of the people that you love getting through this uncomfortable circumstance, because that's the only reason why you're still tolerating it because you're protecting your home. You're protecting your heart space. You're protecting your family's interests. And so you're taking these hits and you're dealing with this frustration and you're you're bulldozing, barreling through it so that you can get through it. I feel like this is a temporary situation is what I'm saying. It's not something that's going to last long or keep you stuck, for, you know, but it's, um, and, and it's that, I think it's only that it's all, the only thing that's making you feel secure right now is that, you know, this isn't going to last forever, that you're not going to have to keep up the charade forever, not, not a blatant charade, but you're not going to have to be in this uncomfortable situation for a long period. It seems like there is a temporariness 
to this discomfort or to this partnership or you hope there is and you're looking for a way out because there is a sense of but there is a sense of 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 of, of um um just being just hold on hold on. I, you know what let me flip the cards around I, let me flip the camera around so you can see the cards hold on yeah so by the look of this grounding energy this is a sense of like watch and wait no you're extremely impatient and you're, you're, somebody has used up all your damn patience, but what is staying you, what is keeping you where you are is this energy of wanting to get through it because somehow, you know, your household or the things that matter to you need it done. And so that is the only thing that's staying your hand and basically staying your mouth, a sense of wanting things to be okay. A, 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 a sense of not giving up. Um, and not wanting to give up on something that is very close to your heart space, this energy of the heart chakra, wombat, being super protective and caring of what's um, going on at home, a sense of uh, maybe you're protect. maybe that's what it is. It's like you're sick of your, the, um, this circumstance, this situation um, impacts your home life a great deal and the reason why you're impatient or pissed off is because you see the impact that it's having on your home life your ability to pay your mortgage your ability to, to buy food something like that and it's like listen or or maybe th this is a, a family business that you're trying to hold on to and you know continue to build that that kind of sense of um uh, it could also be taking you away from your children, which is why it's frustrating you so much because you're having to collaborate and work with people you don't care about and leave the people that you do care about. Let's go over into at like tarot tarot and see what more we can extrapolate. We'll get the details and we'll do your romance reading Sagittarius. The link for the extended is below. I will see you guys over there.